It's all Uber drivers and passengers have to follow a new company policy. Uber just banned all firearms inside vehicles used for their service. Two Works View anchor Brian Sanders is in our newsroom tonight with how they plan to enforce it. Brian. Karen, this policy comes two months after a Chicago Uber driver shot a man who was firing into a crowd of people in Logan Square, a community neighborhood in Chicago. The Uber driver had a concealed carry license and was not charged with a crime, but it raised a bigger question about the safety of rides arranged through Uber. So in an effort to make drivers and riders feel more comfortable, their policy now states Uber and its affiliates prohibit possessing firearms of any kind in a vehicle. Any rider or driver found to have violated this prohibition may lose access to the Uber platform. Lyft has a similar policy banning all weapons, and they reserve the right to determine what a weapon is. Both companies conduct background checks on their drivers, but because they're private companies, neither Tulsa police nor Tulsa County deputies are required to enforce the weapons policies. Another question is how much control Uber has over its drivers. Just last week, the California Labor Commission ruled an Uber driver in San Francisco was an employee, not an independent contractor, as Uber insisted. So it remains to be seen what it will mean for its company-wide operations. Karen?